Hey everybody, John Turner here and thank you for downloading my plugin and I want to give you a quick overview of how to use it and what to do if you get into trouble. Alright, let's get started. Alright, after installing the plugin you'll find the settings under settings and coming soon page in maintenance mode in WordPress. And the first thing you'll want to do is enter or enable coming soon or maintenance mode and check this link out to, to learn the difference. So we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll upload a logo real quick. Upload a new one, so we'll just insert that and then you want to enter a headline and your message and you can uh, optionally display if you want to show a credit for us we'd love for you to but if not that's cool and then you can enter some SEO information and your Google Analytics code and really at this point that is all you need to do and you would have a functioning coming soon page as you can see here but you can dig a little bit deep, deeper under the design options. So we, for example, could upload a background image. So let me just upload one. All right. And we'll insert that. And then uh, by default, these are set up to be responsive, but you can tweak the background image if you need to. And then uh, we can change some colors around here. So let's change the text color to be white. And then we're also going to dim the background image. Okay and we can add custom CSS here as well so let's save that and let's view it and as you can see here we've kind of changed the the look and feel of the coming soon page so you can do this as well and upload your own background image and logo and text and under the advanced section here um, there's an option here we exclude a few URLs by default just in case you're using a custom login uh, plugin or your theme has custom login. But if you're using um, the default WordPress login page, you can safely disable this. And then you have the option here to add some header or footer scripts if you have some Facebook tracking code or anything. And you can add custom HTML, which will replace the coming soon's page HTML. So if you have your own page, you can add it in here. Or you can append the current HTML. And that's it. Um, I would love for you to check out our pro version if you get a chance. You can click here and check on it and learn some more about it. And also, if you need support in the future, uh, just click got a uh, support question. This will take you to our support forms here. And I'm pretty responsive. I usually answer the same day and usually within an hour. All right, so that's it for the free version. As you can see, it's super simple to get up a, a coming soon page for your website and let the visitors see that while you work on the real website in private. If you're interested in the pro version, continue to watch and I'll give you a quick preview of it. Okay, so this is the pro version and it builds on top of the free one and we add quite a bit more features uh, that we think you would find useful. So the first thing you can do is include or exclude uh, pages so you can obviously only show the coming soon on certain pages or not and then we also add a feature to create a bypass URL so you can give this to clients so they can easily bypass the coming soon page or enter uh, this password to view it and then you can uh, access by IP enroll so also our editor now has become real-time so for example now everything we do over here will show up in the right hand side and we've added a few pre-built themes here so we can select a theme or customize any way we see fit so we're just going to select one here okay so as you can see this theme instantly shows up and then the content as you add content it shows up in real time over here on the left which is kind of cool so you can see what you're doing okay and then you can rearrange the elements here so for example we can rearrange the countdown or anything and then obviously we can add our SEO and, and Google uh, Analytics code here. And as far as the background settings, we give you the ability to add um, stock images here. So um, some versions you can search, some just include a bunch in it. It just depends which package you get. So we'll just choose here. Now you can easily choose a stock image or up, upload your own. You can add a slideshow or a background video, which is kind of cool here and then so we've got that and then also you can change the container which is this right here so if we enable it here you can see that's black and then we can change the opacity and all that fun stuff okay and I'm gonna turn off the video here alright and then we can change the element colors here um, so we can change the button color or however we wanna there we go or the form input color and we can switch out some of ty typography so um, uh, for example our headline we'll just choose one here 
There we go. And you'll see everything in real time. You can change the font colors and sizes and things of that nature. And we'll make that a little bit bigger. And then uh, we also integrate with um, a lot of third-party autoresponders. So as you can see here, you can collect emails to the database, or we integrate with MailChimp, Aweber, uh, Gravity Forms, Ninja Forms, just uh, basically anything you can think of. We also integrate with Zapier, which can integrate with over 750 different services. And then we've got our thank you page. And something also really cool about the pro version is we allow you to enable referral tracking. So you can track who refers who, and then set up prize levels based on who retracts, who refers a certain number of people and give them um, coupon codes or free downloads or however you wanna do it to try to gain more traffic and entice people to sign up on your list. Next, you can add social profiles here. So we've got a couple here. And you can just choose your YouTube or Facebook and enter your URL. So we'll do that. And there you go. You can see it show up down there. And then you can add some show, social sharing icons, which obviously you'd want to do if you've got the referral tracking going. And they'll show up on the thank you page. And then you can add a countdown and this countdown which we already have on the screen it can auto launch the site when it reaches zero if you want we'll disable that you can show a progress bar and you can enable a footer credit setting here and obviously you can customize the um, text here so for example we can change <coughs> the button text here which is kind of cool or any of the other fields here if it's not in your language or if you just don't like what it says and then you can add custom CSS here and then we've got some advanced scripts so you can allow third-party plugins so if you have a short code you want to use you can use it here enable reCAPTCHA and again your header footer conversion scripts and import and export your settings so this is just a quick overview if you want to learn more click on the link below and thanks again for checking us out